Welcome. Term 5, Lesson 5. How do we write and use formulae? Change the format to this lesson. The first screen is coming up. You can pause them, work out the answers, go on to the next screen. And right at the end of this lesson is the answers to those questions. I will go through every single question and explain how we get to the answers for those who need the explanations. So the first screen, pause, work it out. Second screen, pause, work them out on paper. Third screen. Okay, so if you know what you're doing, you've got those four screens, write down the answers, I'll go for the answers with the people here. So fluency, magic statement to the correct expression. So, A, two more than X, two more than X. So I go for the statements, that are number one, one X over two, two, two X plus two, no. Two minus X? No. X plus two? Yeah, I think X plus two. There's two more than X. X plus two. So A, four. B, twice X. Twice X, that's two X. So B, five. C, Two less than x. C two less than x. So we've got four and we've got five. Six x minus two is x less two. So C six D half of x. What would that be one one? E x less than 2 x is less than 2 so e will be 3 and f f will be 2 because we've got 1 not 2 3 4 5 6 so f will be 2 next question question 2 jake earns 9 pound an hour okay. how much does he earn in 6 hours Write an explanation. Write the expression for the amount he earns in H hours. And C, write a formula for E, the amount he earns in H hours. So, how much does he earn in six hours? So, one hour equals nine pound. Two hours equals 18 pound. Well, hang on, this is just multiplication. 2 times 9 is 18. 3 times 9 is 27. So five to, 6 times 9. So 6 times 9 is 54. So he earns A, 54 pound. B, write an expression for the amount he earns in H hours. Well, how much does he earn per hour? Nine pound. So nine pound. Hours work. One, two, nine H. And C, write a formula. A formula is not an expression. The expression has no equal signs. A formula has equal signs. So C, write a formula for E. Well, E is how much he earns. Earns equals, we've got the expression there, 9h. There's the answer. A formula is a rule that shows the relationship between two or more variables or letters. You need to write that down. Very important. A formula is a rule that shows a relationship between two or more variables. 
letters. Question. The cost of hiring a bike is £10 plus £5 an hour. A. Write a formula for working out the cost C of hiring a bike for H hours. And B. The cost of hiring a bike for 8 hours. So we need to write out a formula for working out the cost of C of hiring a bike for H number of hours. So here we go. C, cost of the bike, equals £10 plus £5 an hour. So it's C equals £10, 10 plus 5H. So C is the cost. £10 is our one-off charge. And 5 times the number of hours, we actually use it, £5 an hour. So what's the cost of working out for 8 hours? So H will be 8. So we're writing C equals 10 plus 5 times 8. That makes £50. Pound. £50 pound for the cost of the bike. OK. A plumber charges a call-out fee of £35 plus £25 per hour. How much do you charge for a two-hour job? B. Write a formula to work out the total charge C for a job that takes H hours. Pause the video, see if you can work it out, and we'll go for the answers in a minute. Right. A plumber charges £35 for that charge. Plus £20 an hour. How much do you charge for a two-hour job? So, we want to do B first. Work out the total charge. So, cost equals £35 plus £20 per hour. We'll put the two in here. C equals 35 plus 20 times 2. So C equals 35 plus 40. So C equals 75 pound. So B is that and A is that. Backwards. A silly way of doing it, but it works. So we worked out the formula first. We work out the formula, we can then work out how much it charges. Question four. Whoops. The cost of hiring a hall for a party is £80 plus £10 per person. Write a formula for working out the cost C of hiring the hall for P people. How much would it cost a party of 50 people? Here we go. Pause the video. Okay, welcome back. So the cost of hiring a hall is £80 plus £10. So £80 plus £10 per person. So, A, formula. Cost equals 80 pound plus 10 pound per person, 10p. There's it. And work out how much it costs 50 people, B. C equals 80 plus 10 times 50. 10 times 50, so C equals 80 plus 10 times 50, 500. C equals 580. In this one place it would be pounds, 580 pound. There's the answer. Question five. Pause the video, have a go yourself. Okay. 
Good joint of beef takes 20 minutes per half kilo plus 30 minutes. Write a formula to work out number of minutes m it takes to cook a joint of beef that weighs xk. So m m equals 20 minutes per half a kilo. So 20 minutes per half a kilo, that'll be 40 minutes per kilo. So 40 minutes, 40 minutes x, x weight, plus 30 minutes b. Three point eight K three point eight K. So M equals forty times three point eight kilograms plus thirty. Forty times three point eight. Back to my multiplication again. Confuse the people. Maybe as bones. 40 times 3.8. 3 times 0, 0. 3 times 4 is 12. 0 times 8 is 0. This is 4 times 8. 2 8 is 16. 2 16 is 32. 32. Bring the answers. 0. 0 plus 0 plus 2 is 2. 2 plus, five, uh, 2 plus 3 is 5. One. Just place one zero. One hundred and fifty-two. So the answer is one hundred and fifty-two minutes. Four times eight plus our thirty. So the answer is one hundred and eighty-two minutes. This is hours, so there's 60 minutes to an hour. So 60s into 880, or make it 6 into 18 goes 3, so 3 hours and 2 minutes left over. So 3 hours, 2 minutes. C. How long does it cook? take to cook a 2.5? gram joint of beef. So putting our details into a formula, so 2, so m equals 40 times 2.5 plus 30. Again, zero. 2.5 0 2 4 to 8 4 5 to 20 adding them up 0 0 8 plus 2 is 10 down 0 going 1 1 just replace it from there you go straight down to there so the answer is 100 minutes plus 30 equals 130 minutes 60s into 130 goes 2 hours and 10 minutes. So there's the answers. So the answer is B, 3 hours and 2 minutes, and C, 2 hours and 10 minutes, all derived from the formula of M equals 40 times X plus 30. So 40 minutes and 30 minutes. Next question. Here's the answers. Again. Pause the video. See if we work it out. Okay. So. The graph shows the amount an electrician charges his customers. How much does he charge 
does the electrician charge for one hour's work? Well, what you need to do is to take your ruler and go up at one until you meet the line crosses. And then when it does meet it, go along to the vertical line there. So the vertical line there, 60. So he works out for one hour, he charges 60 pound. So A, one hour equals 60 pound. And how much did he work for four hours? So go to the four hours, four hours, the line, and you make the red line, and then read off to the side. And the answer is 120. So four hours. equals 120 pound b the electrician charges a call out fee how much is this the call out chip fee is what it starts it starts at no minutes no hours it charges 40. so before he starts anywhere he charges 40. so the call out charge is 40 pound so b 40 pound c Write a formula for a total amount C that the electrician charges his customers for each hour's work. Well, C. His charge equals well, no, forty pound straight away for the call out plus hours work. How much is charge per hour? Well, calls out forty pound. After one hour, it's sixty pound. So sixty take away forty be twenty. So 20 pound number of hours. So four hours, we get quickly out. 40 plus 20 times four. So 20 times four, that'd be uh, four, eight, 80. That'd be 120, which is the same as there. So that is correct. Use your formula to work out C and H is two and three quarter hours. Two three quarter hours. Oh lovely. So C equals forty plus twenty times two and three quarter hours. I'll change that to a decimal. 2.75 times 2.75 and I'm now got a nice two 2.75 times by 20 2 times 5 is 10 Two four two sevens are fourteen. Two twos are four. Yeah, zeros. Zero here. This is zero. One plus four is five. One plus four is five. Zero. This place goes down here. The answer is there. The answer is fifty-five. Zero five five point zero zero. So the answer. Is 55 plus 40 pound earlier equals 95 pound. Ninety-five pound. And our last question. Oops. Last question. The graph shows the amount it costs to hire a bike. Write a formula for the total cost C to hire a bike for D days. So C equals 4 plus 8D.
Ah, mais même pas, ça.